Welcome into FLT tonight, folks. It's the Sagi's Catering Eat and Greet series, episode number four. Today, we have Matt Ogden from the Lake Hawks. Matt, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right, so Matt, you're one of the FLT. You were on team three? Yes. Team three, and you guys, that's when you won the uh, first FLT championship. Yep. You guys, uh, don't remember how you went in pool play, but dominant in the postseason, I remember that, with Caden Stork on the mound. The year after that, you were on, remind me again, the... Uh, the process. Oh, the process with Daniel Ogden. Yep. Daniel Ogden, a fan favorite. Everybody loves Big D. Absolutely. And then uh, year, last year, you were on Team 3 again. Yep. Uh, you guys did not perform to your expectations, uh, getting fourth place. And now this year, you are on uh, the Lake Hawks, which is a Team 3 rebrand. Correct. So... Uh, Caden Stork, your primary teammate, he's uh he's the main pitcher for the team, but you've thrown some significant innings. Uh, I wouldn't classify you guys a pitching team, but I also wouldn't say you're the best hitting team. What do you guys think you rank in the league on the hitting pitching scale? The hitting scale, um, I'd say we're one of the best. We're pretty consistent for the most part as far as batting average goes. Um, pitching, I'd definitely say we're the worst team. Um, we don't really have a dominant ace like all the three other teams do, but I guess we do have a lot of depth, but if you don't have an ace, you can't really win this tournament. That's what it takes. Now, out of the returning teams, uh, you guys do have the worst ERA uh, team-wise, and uh, you, Matt, you currently have a 10.29 ERA. Well, last year you had a 10.29 ERA, and Kane did not have much better. Uh, are you guys going to try to have a different strategy pitching this year to uh, prevent the other team's offense? Um, we, I think we're going to have the same approach, but we may uh, end up having a, the same pitcher pitch all three innings of the pool play games just to see how they do in uh, long stretches. I think we mix and match our pitching too much last year. We pulled a pull guy after an inning and... The, we couldn't really find our groove on the mound, so I think that's something we might try to incorporate this year. Now, last year you guys had the second worst batting average, uh, just uh, better than the Apes. Uh, but this year you had Daniel Big D Ogden. How's he going to help your team uh, on the offensive side of the ball? Um, he's really grown a lot this year. He's a big kid, so uh, he, he could provide some power stats for us. Um, he'll come off the bench, though, as a pinch hitter. Um, he'll get some playing time in the pool play rounds. Um, if he proves himself, he, he could wind up playing in the, in the uh, tournament. So we'll see how he does. He'll get his opportunities, though. Now, you're clearly Team 3's, or uh, excuse me, the Lakehawks' best hitter. Uh, you were last year, the, had the second best average in the league. Uh, and you hit home runs, but you had no extra base hits other than home runs. Uh, what do you think that has, uh, or why do you think that is? Uh, it's really hard to hit uh, extra base hits on the field. It's a very short fence, so if you don't really yank it right down the line, you're, you're not going to get an extra base hit. Since second base is so close to the wall, um, it's easy for the fielders to field the ball and then come right to second base, and it's it's really tough to get all the way to second before it's the, uh, the outfielder meets you there. All right, so the Lakehawks are being regarded as have, they have the least chance to win. What do you guys? What do you think about that? Um, well, we definitely say we're hungry this year. Uh, we want to prove people wrong. Maybe if they take us for granted, I think uh, uh, I think we could sneak a couple W's that we probably shouldn't have won. But uh, uh, I think we got a good shot this year. We're not really. We had a down year last year. Um, our hitting and pitching obviously wasn't up to par, but we are. We did win uh, the first and, and the inaugural season of the FLT, um, so we are proven, and I think we got a legitimate shot this year. All right, you got anything else to add? Um, it's going to be a great tourney. I think this is the uh, deepest uh, set of teams the tournament has ever had. Uh, a lot of talent back and a lot of experience, so it should be fun. All right, Matt, thanks for joining us, and uh, viewers at home, thanks for watching. This has been the Sagi's Catering Eat and Greet, episode number four with Matt Ogden of the Laycocks. Thanks for watching.